remove dirt from dishes. Question nine. Dishwasher tablets contain chemicals which remove dirt from dishes. Dishwasher tablets include detergents. These molecules act like soaps to allow mixing of fat-soluble dirt and water. During the cleaning process, the detergent molecules combine with fat-soluble dirt. Simplified diagram shown. Complete the diagram below to show how detergent molecules combine with fat-soluble dirt. So what, I need, what you need to do is just basically put the tail in the fat and put the head outside. Um, I would put in a few so it's absolutely clear what you're doing. You don't have to cover the entire thing, but you have to be clear that you have tails in and heads sitting out. Okay. Um, state the term used to describe the non-polar hydrocarbon tail of the detergent molecule. That is hydrophobic. Fearing the water. Okay. Dishwasher tablets produce the bleach hydrogen peroxide. One action of this oxidising agent is to oxidise food. Suggest another action of the bleach produced by the dishwasher tablets. Um, so, well, I mean, it could, it could do lots of stuff. For a start, it could kill things. <laughs> um, so it would kill any microbes that we're looking at on there. So that would get rid of bacteria, viruses, you know, germs, if you were being slightly... Certainly not biological, but then this is chemistry. Um, and then also you, you might expect it to break down colour compounds because oxidation would do that. Okay, so colour breakdown was also in the mark scheme on that one. Okay, hydrogen peroxide decomposes to form oxygen and water. Um, a dishwasher tablet produces 0 0.051 grams of hydrogen peroxide, gives you the mass. Calculate the volume of oxygen that would be produced when 0 0.051 grams of hydrogen peroxide decomposes. Okay, right, so from the equation, I've got two hydrogen peroxides uh, to one oxygen. Um, you are told, so we've got the mass of hydrogen peroxide is 34. So that means that 68 grams of this, 2 times 34, would give me 1 mole, so 24 litres of oxygen. Okay. Uh, we are then looking for 0 0.051 grams of hydrogen peroxide, how many litres of oxygen? So 0 0.051 uh, divided by uh, 68 times by 24 gives me 0 0.018 litres. And uh, does it give you what it has to be given in? No, so you could either leave it at that, or if you preferred, you could have said 18 centimetres cubed. That's it. Three marks. I'm kind of gobsmacked you get three marks for that one, but um, it's it's obviously this bit here that is considered to be slightly sneaky. Okay, uh, C. Enzymes are commonly added to dishwasher tablets that are used to break down proteins. Proteins are broken into small water-soluble molecules. Name the small, small water-soluble molecules. Uh, this is amino acids. Okay. Uh, structure of a section of protein chain found in egg white is shown. Name the functional group. So this is your link. Um, it's in a protein, so you know I'm expecting actually that you went peptide bond, um, but perfectly fine to have said that it's an amide link, um, or even amide. Um, draw a structural formula for one of the molecules that would be made from this breakdown. So we are looking at basically each of the amino acids. So you could do this one, you could do this one, you could do this one, or you could do this one. Okay, all you need to do is re-establish at one end the C double bond O bond O bond H, and at the other end, so this would be C bond H, and then whatever the R group is, uh, you need to have your knife, your other one, like your amine, sorry, you have your NH2. Um, so this one would re-establish at NH2 bond OH there, okay. Uh, this one would end up with a C double bond O bond OH on here, and there would be the NH2, and there's your, oh, sorry, single, oh, that's a messy one. Uh, there's the OH in here. And that would be the NH2. That's the smallest one. That's just a wee glycine thrown in there. Uh, there's an OH and there's an H. Any one of them. Any one of the ones you want to do. Uh, just make sure that you've got the right number of bonds on everything. Okay. As part of the program in the dishwasher, the conditions of the dishwasher change so that the enzyme molecules no longer work because they change shape. 
state the term used to describe the change in shape of enzyme molecules. Okay, so what's happened here is that the enzyme molecules have denatured, or uh, denatur nat I can't spell it, denaturation, if we're looking for the process. Okay, uh, but denatured is what, or I suppose you could say denaturing. Um, suggests a change in conditions which would cause the enzyme molecules to change shape. Um, what I'm expecting is increased temperature. Because your other ones for denaturing is like change drastically away from the optimum pH um, and you're not going to change the pH inside your washing machine. Right, uh, for a D, a bleach activator, well, I could make this a bit bigger actually, a bleach activator is frequently added to dishwasher tablets to speed up the bleaching reaction. One common bleach activator is TAED. Uh, this can be produced in a process which involves a number of stages. First stage is shown below. Suggest a name for this type of reaction. Okay, so we have taken two molecules, joined them together to make a bigger molecule, and you've got a little one that's been kicked out. Um, so I'm expecting condensation. Okay, final stage, up to the right here, I moved it aside so I could see it. Okay, final stage in the process producing TAED is shown below. Little picture. Uh, draw a structural formula for TAED. Okay, so the reason I tried to pull it to the side was so that we could see what was happening in each of the stages. So um, what we've got here, we had, to start off with, we had our ethylene diamine. Okay, and so we've still got that kind of core in the middle here but they've added on this group. Okay, when I get to this one, I've still got that core of this kind of setting up, but now we've got that one that was added on, and now they've added on these two. So the final structural formula is basically doing the same thing on the bottom here, but it's quite a lot of drawing out. Um, so let's put our central section in, and then put in what they already had. And on the other side, we've got C double bond O, bond CH3. And on this one, we've got our C double bond O, bond CH3. And then we just need to put a fourth one in. So we're going to go C uh, double bond O, bond CH3. And that's it. Um, yeah, I, I, I did kind of look at it for a couple of minutes to see where that was coming from. But actually, it's reasonably easy once you see it. But until you see it, you're, you're kind of not sure where you're going with it. The T, I'm not actually going to go through what it all is, but the T is going to be a tetra and because there's four groups of the same. Um, and that's it.